गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन दिस इज वानस पटनायक योर फ्रेंड नाइन ट्यूटर एंड आई एम पैक विद अनदर वीडियो ऑन द टॉपिक सोल्यूशन ऑफ इक्वेश इन दी प्रीवियस सेशन वी लर्न अबाउट वट एक्सैक्टली अ पोलिनोमियल इज वॉट्स एन एल चेपरिक इक्वेशन वी ऑल्सो लर्न अबाउट द सिक्स जनरल प्रॉपर्टीज एसोसिएटेड इन टूडेज क्लास इट इज ट्राइंग टू इम्प्लीमेंट दोज थिंग्स ओके सो दिस इज गोट बी एक्सरसाइज नंबर वन इट हैज गॉट समवेयर अराउंड फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी प्रॉब्लम्स एंड इन ईच वीडियो विल बी सॉल्विंग वन सिंगल प्रॉब्लम and that's how we can create this huge library uh, for engineering mathematics so one small suggestion for all of you do watch the videos from the playlist okay i'll make sure that i link up the chapter wise playlist in the description of each and every video concerned with engineering mathematics let's begin with problem number 1 let me read it form the equation of fourth degree whose roots are 3 plus iota and root 7 what's so special sir The special thing is, this is an imaginary root and this is an irrational root. If you recall properly, this is something that we discussed in detail. Let's say f of x is equal to zero is your algebraic equation, whose one root is imaginary. So the other root will also be imaginary. The only difference being is here it is alpha plus i beta. This is alpha minus i beta, and this is what you call a conjugate pair. In the same fashion, if you've got an irrational root. If it is a plus root b, the other irrational root has to be has to be a minus root b. Now, let's begin the problem. So, three plus iota and root seven have been given. We know its conjugate pair is going to be three minus iota and negative root seven. Let's call this as alpha. That's beta, gamma, and delta. There are two approaches which I'll be uh, discussing in today's session, and this is going to hardly take five to six minutes. Not to worry. Okay. Method number one. Let's say f of x is equal to zero is the algebraic equation we want to frame. It has got four roots. Why four? Because we've been clearly mentioned it is an equation of fourth degree. That is why four roots: alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. This algebraic equation can also be written in the factorization form: x minus alpha, x minus beta, x minus gamma, x minus delta. Okay, multiply all of them and equate it to zero. That is also how you can get to this algebraic equation. And that is exactly what I'll do. And let me do that quickly. This is x minus alpha, x minus beta. Now, students, what you can do is you can take this negative sign inside. Okay, everywhere, everywhere. Here we go. Let me do this very, very quickly. Okay, sir. This is very, very simple. Now, what to do? Now, let me make some bracket. Let me make some space. What we'll do is okay. X into x is x square. And then x into minus three is minus three x. In the same fashion, you have to expand this entire term. Just do it as soon as possible. Done, sir. So uh, this looks like a minus b multiplied by a plus b. So this is going to be a square minus b square. A is x and b is root seven. Just do it. Now the things are going to become very simple for you. If you watch iota x and this is negative iota x. Yellow yellow cancels. Minus three iota and plus three iota. Ping ping cancels. What remains is this. Okay. Ah ah ah. Let let us first of all. Simplify this for the minus three x, minus three x, negative six x, plus nine, and minus iota square. So you've got plus nine, minus iota square. If you recall, this is something you already know from school. So iota square is going to be equal to negative of one. So nine minus of minus one obviously is going to be equal to positive ten. So the result is very simple: x square minus six x plus ten. And then this is x square minus seven. Do the simplification process. Okay, simplify it further. This is what you get. And if you watch, minus seven x square plus ten x square. This is going to be minus three x square. But before that, you've got a cube term and x to the power four. So let me write the final algebraic equation of fourth degree. So here it is. Done. There is another approach that you guys can follow. Let me show that. This is what I call the bi quad is equal to bi quad is equal to quad quad approach. Bi quadratic equation has degree four, okay, and this quadratic second degree, second degree. When these two second degree algebraic equations collide with each other, you have yourself a fourth degree bi quadratic equation. Now, sir, we know from school that x square minus sum of the roots into x plus product of the roots. Product of roots, 
equal to zero this is how we used to frame our quadratic equation let's say sir 4 and 5 are the roots of a quadratic equation then what we would write is x square minus 4 plus 5 sum of the roots into x plus product of the roots that is 4 into 5 and this is how we framed our quadratic equation we are going to use the same approach but individual basis first of all take a look at 3 plus iota and 3 minus iota this have been marked as alpha and beta so what we'll write is x square minus alpha plus beta into x okay plus alpha beta product of the roots again for gamma and delta you have to do the same thing alpha plus beta 3 plus iota 3 minus iota iotas will cancel what remains is 6 what about alpha beta sir so 3 plus iota into 3 minus iota will be 3 square minus iota square which from the previous slide we know very well is equal to plus 10 so x square minus 6x plus 10 is one result while the other result is uh, let me okay plus root 7 minus root 7 when you add these two roots they'll cancel each other out so this is going to be 0 0 into x is 0 so that's why there is no x term over here secondly when you multiply these roots root 7 root 7 becomes 7 but there is positive and negative sign so this becomes minus 7 and that's why you see minus 7 over here again the same stuff is repeating itself simplify it further can be simplified 7x square and 10x square uh, just do the math this is so so damn easy okay but again one more suggestion same suggestion in fact if you want to watch the videos of engineering mathematics watch it from the playlist itself chapter wise playlist i'll be providing in the description of each and every video right thank you very much have a nice day